The St. Louis Cardinals are not off to a good start so far this season. They got to get going, though. Just seem to be stuck in neutral. McGowan's first pitch to Paul Goldschmidt. Ball one, a little bit outside. You know, Goldie himself has to get going a little bit. Needs a little bit of motivation, I do think, here. Cardinals down three to two in the bottom of the seventh. Kicks and fires. Oh, my. Get out the tape measure. Long gone. Opposite field. Bomb for call for Paul Goldschmidt. And this game is tied up. Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. In case you didn't hear, which you didn't, I just kind of messaged Justin on the side before first pitch and I said, I got a hunch. Paul Goldschmidt, you know, has not been doing well, but I had a friend down in St. Louis this weekend for a tournament. He said, it's starting to warm up a little bit here. It's starting to feel that humidity a little bit. So I'm going with Paul Goldschmidt this week, folks. And uh, I'll let you know in a second what day that I think he will hit a home run. Now, I really wanted someone, I think Jordan Alvarez maybe, they're playing in Mexico City uh, this weekend. I think just two games. If I remember correctly, the ball flew out of Mexico City last year, but unfortunately, I didn't have any of his cards. So let's see. Last week, I mean, I, I kind of feel bad. There are people that are just going with me based on the data. Again, all the data, the handicap is correct. The players just don't do what they're supposed to do. So I think some of these people do have multiple ones in here. That's fine. That's what the contest is all about. But Card Collector, 65, JW, you're in the hopper again. There we go. Shaw Racing Collects in the hopper. Grizzles Cards, my morning brother. You know, that's first, one of the first things I do is get my coffee in the morning. Riggins and I go for a walk. And the first video we listen to, because it's hot off the presses, is Grizzles cards. But hey, good. Good job on your part. Going to put them in there. Now, as for this week, as for this week, I'm going with Paul Goldschmidt. And I was looking at the weather and the matchups. You know, it's not going to be ideal in New York. They're going against the Mets um, for the first part of the week. Really, most of the week. Friday, you know, some sunshine, but kind of cool. Uh, Saturday, afternoon showers are possible. And I like doing Fridays or Saturdays, so as players usually play. Sometimes on Sundays, they do take a day off. But on Sunday, it's going to be 72 degrees. It's going to be like 15 degrees warmer on Sunday, which hitters always like that. Then I got into the stats. I don't think Paul Goldschmidt's going to take the day off on Sunday when he sees who's pitching. Jose Quintana in lifetime. Um, Paulie is 12 for 20, three home runs, 11 RBIs, one walk, two strikeouts. That's a robust 600 batting average, folks. I got a good feeling Sunday, Paulie's going to do it. Now, here's what we're going to do. We are going to have a giveaway this week. So the people that are correct this week will go into a separate cup. I'll pick out one winner, and then that winner, and everyone else is going to go in here for the grand prize at the All-Star break. But here's what you're playing for, folks. Got a Denny's card right there, Ray Langford. And I really have too many Paul Goldschmidt cards. You know, I'm just not a really big Cardinals fan. I'm a Cubs fan, as you guys know that. We got a black and white baseball here. Ozzy Smith, the Wizard of Oz. Another Ozzy Smith on this chrome card. Beautiful one right there. Uh, Nolan Gorman, I think he had a home run yesterday. And one of Graham's custom cards, a custom Albert Pujols, will be going to the winner. All right, class is in session. Today is April 23rd, and it's lesson 157. I misspoke yesterday, so I do apologize by that. But we got a couple shout outs for birthday shout outs. Tony Esposito no longer with us. This would have been his birthday. Chicago Blackhawks goalie. I believe he won three Vesna trophies. And also, Aaron jo or, uh, Andrew Jones of the Braves, just because I remember the one time they were playing the Cubs. And he kind of hot-dogged it out there in uh, center field. And this was against a bad, bad Cubs team. You know, beating them pretty easily. Bobby Cox went halfway on the field barking for him to get out. Get out of the game. You're out. You're going to you know, play the right ways, respect the game, or you're on the bench, pal. 
And I just always like Bobby Cox, that old school, old school kind of managing, you know, getting thrown out of game, stuff like that. But it's important to respect the game. And I do remember Aaron, uh, sorry, have a hard time saying names here today, folks. But um, Andrew Jones talking about how that kind of changed him that one time. And players need that sometimes, a little bit of tough love. All right, so today we know Tuesday we're going downtown hunting. And I got the crane here, folks. I've got the crane. All the pressure. You know, my student just wanted to do something nice for me. And uh, John MP, you were kind of mentioning this. Our librarian does have a big stack. If you take out one of the origami books, she will give you um, a couple of these. So that's pretty sweet. And, um, yeah, all the pressure in the world. I should probably put on the Paul Goldschmidt card for a little bit of good luck, too. Hey, we had that numbered crunch time on Friday. So let's see. Can we pull the elusive downtown? Come on. I think we're due. I think we're due. All right. We've got here Jerry Judy, Chris Alave. We got a linebacker there, rated rookie for the Falcons. Josh Pascal, come on, one more pack. Little rub of the crane right there. I always feel like if you play sports, you are a superstitious person. So what I'm doing with the crane, folks, is not crazy. All right, here we go. Baltimore Ravens, Antonio Winfield Jr., uh, pink. Hey, that's a good card right there. Christian Watson. We love our Green Bay Packers over here for sure. Trayvon Walker. No downtown. I don't blame anybody but Panini. I'm not going to blame myself here, folks. What do you think? But for now, class is dismissed.